Okay, so the second part to the two videos that I'm making about your emails that we've set up for you. In the first video, it showed you how to check your emails online through webmail. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your emails to be sent automatically to Thunderbird or Outlook Express or whatever emailing program that you're using. Uh, it's quite simple, really. A lot of people do get stuck on this one, uh, but it really is uh, pretty basic. So just open up Outlook Express. Now you may already have an account in here with emails that you've been receiving all the time. Just leave that alone, you don't, don't delete it, just leave it there for now. If you delete it, you'll lose your emails. Um, so just leave it there for now. So then what we need to do is we need to find um, an Outlook Express. Uh, we go to Tools and then Accounts. In Thunderbird, it's a little bit different I think, but what you need to do is you need to find uh, somewhere where it says Accounts and then click on that. Uh, so you may already have an account in here. Uh, your existing one, you may have two or three, just leave those alone because what we're going to do is we're going to add another account with the settings for your, um, your new email address. So click add and we want to add a mail account. Okay, so display name. That's just the name that appears when you email someone and it appears in that little box on the side there next to the subject. So I want it to say Gareth, you may want it to say your company name or your full name or your initial name, whatever. It's up to you. So, and then click next. Um, okay, so email address is um, the address of other, your email address is the address other people use to send email messages to you. So this is just your email address. So mine's Gareth at iCandyCreations.co.nz. And then click next. Okay, this is the bit here people sometimes get stuck. It's actually quite simple. Um, so my incoming mail server is POP3. So don't worry about these other ones here. Make sure it says POP3. And the incoming mail server, which is this one here, there's two parts, there's incoming and then there's outgoing. So this is mail that's coming. These are the settings that are gonna get the mail in. This is the settings that are gonna get the mail out off your computer to whoever you want it to go to. So incoming mail settings is always gonna be mail dot and then your dom domain name. So mine's iCandyCreations.co.nz. So it's always going to be mail at the start, dot, and then your domain name at the end, whatever your domain name is. So the outgoing mail server now, this is different depending on who your internet service provider is. So if you're unsure who, uh, what it should be, um, you can actually check usually on their website or you can give them a ring um, or you can give us a ring if you want and we'll, we've got most of them here so we can help you out so let's just say it, it's with extra it's always going to be smtp dot the name of your internet provider so extra is extra.co.nz um, vodafone is vodafone.co.nz I think there's a vodafone.net.nz as well um, and that's basically all you put in there. So extra.co.nz and that's the outgoing server. And then you click next. Um, okay, so the account name is going to be your email address. So at iCandyCreations.co.nz, your one will be your one, obviously. Your password is the password that we've given to you. And yep, leave uh, remember password. Don't tick this box that says login using secure password or from Kenji. Just don't worry about that. Just leave that one alone. And then click next. And that's it. <whistles> Done. Now you know how to set up an email account. You never have to pay um, an IT person ever again. If you get stuck at all, you can give us a ring. Um, but it really is that simple. Once that's set up, you click go, the account um, will appear in here. And if you have emails on the server or in your webmail, they will automatically come flying down, down the cable, into the back of your computer, and just load up, load up straight away into your Outlook. And that's pretty much it. Nice and simple. That's all for now.